Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a look at Steinberg's contribution to helping us stay at home. So with the hashtag stay home on the Steinberg homepage, we can see here's the uh, here's the link, but pretty much went to the Steinberg page and then got to this page. This was the first thing that came up on the image slider. And as they say here, stay home and create music. So We've got the Stay Home Elements collection, which we're going to look at downloading. So Cubase Elements, Dorico Elements, Wavelam Elements, and our Absolute Collection. So this is a 60-day demo. So in the previous video, at the beginning of this series, we had a 30-day demo of Cubase Elements. So here we're going to see 60-day demo. I'm going to take you through the procedure of getting this all sorted out. So first things first, if you need to, you would create a Steinberg ID. So you'd click on the icon at the top right, just as you've just seen, and then you can create a Steinberg ID. Obviously, I've already done that. I've I've shown how to do that in the original video as well, so I will link that in the description, but it's a pretty straightforward process. All you need to do is give your some of your information. They will then send you an email, which you have to validate, etc. So once you've done that and you get signed in, so I'm going to sign in now, and I'm going to click Download Your Collection. So I'll now get an email from Steinberg because I was signed in and then that will allow me to get everything set up. So we'll get an activation code and a download link. So let's go and check the email now. So here we are in the email and as you can see, emails arrived and very much like the previous video you saw, we've got a download, either the Mac version or the PC version of the Steinberg Download Assistant. So it really doesn't matter whether you're on PC or Mac because once it's installed, the procedure will be exactly the same and the installation of this is fairly straightforward. Once you've got that installed, you can then download using the downloader system, which makes downloading all of this much easier. So here I am, I'm going to download the Mac version. I'm going to open this. And you do much the same on a PC, so you just get a zip file on the PC and then you'd run the, run the installer to set it up. And it's pretty much a case of just following all the defaults. So it's a few clicks and then it's installed and we'll be ready to run. And here we can see we have this new category in the download assistant, which is the stay home elements collection. So we've got Cubase elements 10.5, which is 15.3 gigs. We've got Dorico Elements, Wavelab Elements, and the Absolute 4 VST collection, which you can see is really big. There's loads of content here. And we're going to spend some time looking at some of these here. Cubase Elements 10.5, the download for this, it's a 15.3 gig download. So you hit that and wait a fair time, depending on your internet connection, for that to get downloaded. And as you can see, sometime later, your huge download will finish and then the download assistant will verify it. Okay, so when it's finished doing that verification, you should just be able to click open and then it will run the installer. So I'm going to click that now. And in this case, it opens up the folder where it is. So we just need to double click that installer so obviously this is on a mac it will be slightly different on windows but basically on windows it'll just be an exe file that you'll run and once this is done we will see the next step in the process which is where we get the installer itself which on a mac is just this package can which we need to run and we go through the normal Basically clicking all the defaults, so you do the same on Windows, just click all the defaults and install it to the default location, etc. Here I have to put my password in, don't think you'll have to do that on Windows. And now it installs all the content which comes with it. Now, uh, this Mac is has already got Cubase on, so not everything will get installed, although we will have everything we will have access to everything, but some of this stuff is already installed. But 
you'll go through the process. It will take a while because there's 15 gigs or so of content for it to install. So depending on the speedy machine, it could be time to uh, go downstairs, have a drink and wash your hands thoroughly. So there we go, we've got to the end of the installation. So Cubase is now installed. I'm gonna move that to the trash because I'm like that, but you don't need to do that. So we're also gonna look at installing the other applications. It's the same process. So you literally, with these two, you would just click the download. So I'm gonna click uh, the download for Dorico Elements. And you can see that will download pretty quickly. I'm fortunate enough to have a fast internet connection. And you can see as soon as it's finished downloading, you can click open and then it takes you to the folder. This would be pretty much the same on a PC. You would just get an EXE installer rather than a Mac disk image. It's very little to it. Just double click it. And here I just need to install the program from here. Agree with the license install it and away we go much the same on the PC basically just follow all the defaults and all will be fine so there we see Dorico 3 has been installed successfully however I'm going to move that to the trash because I like to keep things nice and tidy there are other parts to install so also the sound so Dorico comes with some really good instrument sounds so for kind of general purpose orchestral instruments as people would often think of them but you know fairly standard instruments so we can download that and obviously that's going to take a little longer because it's three gigs so we'll speed through that process So you can see there that the installer has finished downloading and now opening that up will take a while for it to verify it. And we have another installer to run. And once that's finished, we can close it. And in the case of a Mac, move that to the trash. Now let's take a look at WaveLab. Again, WaveLab elements 10, 0, 20, full. So we've actually got two downloads to do here. So we're going to click this one. It's only a quick one. Again, familiar story by now. Open it. Run the installer. Agree and follow all the defaults. And in this case, we're also going to download and install the update. Same procedure as all the others. Now, today, I'm not going to go through installing any of these. I'm going to do this in a separate video because that will take a while. And it's not something we need to concern ourselves with at the beginning. But a little later on in the series, we'll look at how to install some of these and go through the installing of them. But as you can see, there are some big numbers here. So just between those three, we've got 100 gigs. They are worth downloading. There's some great sounds in here. And particularly if you get them for 60 days for free even better but for the time being we are done we've installed cubase elements 10.5 dorico elements 3 and wavelab elements 10 we will come back and i'll do a separate video on installing the absolute 4 vst collection but now we're going to look at authorizing your copy of the stay at home elements collection so this is the activation code that you're looking for so copy that from the email you got from steinberg 
Now to activate it, we need the eLicenser Control Center. So because I'm on a Mac and I'm using Alfred, I can just search using the first few letters. But if you just tap the Windows key on a PC and then just type ELI, you'll get the eLicenser Control Center appearing and you can pick that from your start menu. So here we are, and you can see I've currently got a Cubase Elements trial activated on here. You won't see anything though, it will just be an empty part of the window. You should just see my licenses and then the soft e-licenser on the left. It's good practice at this point to update the e-licenser database because the stay at home collection has only been re released today. So we need to make sure the database is up to date just in case it's not up to speed with that code and it wouldn't work without it. So under support, Go to update e-licenser database and update ELD. And there we go, we're up to date. And now we can enter the activation code. So we go to actions and then enter activation code. And then we paste in the code that we got from our email. And there we can see we've got the stay home elements collection. So it's got that demo and an expiration date of two months. So we're going to click continue. We pick where we need to put it, which is there's only one e-licenser here because you don't need a hardware dongle. If you have a hardware dongle, you can actually put it on there, but we're just going to look at the software version. Just click download license. And it may take a few minutes to download. Once it's done, click close. And then we need to start the usage period. So that license would sit there dormant until we start the usage period but you're going to get on and start making music straight away so click start usage period and click close and we can see now the stay home elements collection is there and is working so all is well we're now ready to start making music using cubase elements so now you can follow along in any of the videos with the series and we'll also be able to use Dorico Elements, WaveLab Elements, and the Absolute 4 VST collection. So I hope you found that useful and been able to get started, and I'll see you soon.